This is a review for the iRobot Roomba 614 and 675. The 675 can be controlled wirelessly via an app while the 614 cannot. Otherwise, the two robots are all but identical and performed very similarly in all of our tests. The 614 and 675's airflow was measured at 9 CFM. Their suction was measured at 0.06 kPa. In our carpet stress test, both robots picked up all debris types very well. Unlike most other robot vacuums we tested, the 614 and 675 have two brush rolls instead of one. The extra brush roll allows for better carpet agitation at the cost of spreading airflow and suction over a larger surface area. The end result is that these robots pick up surface level debris on carpet just about as well as most other robot vacuums we tested, largely because of their two brush rolls and despite their low airflow and suction. This design did result in slightly below average performance in our carpet deep clean test. The 614 and 675 picked up only 4 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the 614 and 675 once again picked up most debris types very well. On the surface type, their two brush rolls don't really help much, but their lower airflow and suction don't really hurt much either. These robots also performed very well cleaning edges. Both the 614 and 675 utilize random pathing to move around when cleaning, and this pathing allows them to approach a lot of edges head on, which is good for cleaning them. They also frequently do the circular pattern against edges and move closely parallel to edges. Neither the 614 nor the 675 performed well in our robot vacuum crevice test, as you can see here. Even after extensive runtime, neither robot could pull much debris out of the crevice used for this test. In our human hair pickup test, both robots picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into their dust bins. 70 to 90% of the hair they picked up tangled around their side brushes and around one of their brush rolls and had to be cleaned off manually. Though it is a special note that it was much easier to pull the hair off of their brush rolls than it was to pull it off of the brush rolls of most other robot vacuums we tested. Both robots also had less than ideal results in our pet hair pickup test. Unlike most other robot vacuums we tested, neither the 614 nor the 675 was able to pick up and actually collect all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. Both robots were able to pull most tufts of hair underneath the robot, but couldn't properly pull all of those tufts up and into the robot's dustbin. The end result was that a few tufts would eventually fall back out of the robot as it continued on its run. And at the end of the run, a few tufts would fall out of the bottom of the robot when we picked it up for inspection. We tested each robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a clutter room. In our empty room testing, we see the random cleaning pattern for both robots demonstrated quite well. In this test, we also observed both robots cleaning the room very evenly, with excellent coverage throughout the whole room. In our clutter room testing, we again see each robot's random cleaning pattern, and we again see good even coverage. Compared to other random pathing robots we tested, these Roombas were especially effective getting good coverage underneath the chair frame used for this test, though they did move the chair much more than most other robots in this test in the process. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially how neither robot comes with a physical remote, as we mentioned at the beginning of this review, the 675 can be controlled via the iRobot app, but the 614 cannot, which means that out of the box, the 614 can only be controlled using buttons on the robot itself. This chart also shows how both the 614 and 675 are fully compatible with iRobot virtual wall barriers. You can buy these separately and use them with either robot to keep it out of certain parts of rooms and or certain whole parts of your house. Also note each robot's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the random pathing robots we've tested so far. Lastly, note each robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the 614 and 675 average size robot vacuums. Moving on to what we like and dislike about these vacuums, first let's talk about what we like. Their surface level debris pickup ability is very good, especially on carpet and also on hard floors. They cleaned edges especially well, as they frequently use a unique circular movement against edges and also frequently pass closely by edges. We also like that it's very easy to pull off longer hair from their brush rolls. And lastly, we also like that they offer very good even coverage, even in cluttered environments. 
Moving on to what we dislike about the 614 and 675, they both had difficulty picking up all the pet hair used for our pet hair pickup testing. We also don't like the fact that out of the box, the 614 can only be controlled using buttons on the robot itself. Lastly, both the 614 and 675 are considerably louder than most other robot vacuums we tested. In terms of general recommendations, the main competitor for these Roombas are Eufy robot vacuums, as the two best brands, if you are shopping for a random pathing robot, are, in my opinion, iRobot and Eufy. Eufy robots do have several advantages over iRobot Roombas, but Roombas also have a few advantages over Eufy's. Eufy's are generally smaller than Roombas, but with larger bins. They also run quieter and don't have the same pet hair pickup issue that these Roombas have. They're also usually considerably cheaper than Roombas. If any of these things or combination of things are important to you, then we recommend that you buy a Eufy instead of an iRobot Roomba. On the flip side of things, longer hair tends to not tangle as much around Roomba brush rolls as it does around Eufy brush rolls. It's also much easier to detangle hair from Roomba brush rolls. And all Roombas offer boundary options, while many, especially inexpensive Eufy's, do not. If any of these things or combination of things are important to you, then we recommend that you go with a Roomba over a Eufy. If you do choose Roomba and need to decide between the 614 and the 675, go with the 614 if you don't mind its lack of controls. Go with the 675 if you don't mind paying a bit extra for app control. For Eufy recommendations, see our individual Eufy robot vacuum reviews. We'll also have links for all of the robot vacuums we recommend in this video and in general in the description to this video. Thank you for watching.